Yeah. We're cutting it close. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to go do some exploring. Our main goal is to get over to the uh, crater and nab a bunch of iridium rods off of the asteroid over there, um, or the meteorite, I should say. And uh, before we do that, though, we're going to make ourselves the Tier 5 backpack. Uh, so I went out and got the rest of the uranium and ended up with this much. Um, at least one of the meteorites landed way up on top of that mountain, so I wasn't able to get to it. I also went and gathered some more super alloy because we, we needed some to make this uh, new backpack and grabbed a couple of chests over in the starter area, which also is starting to uh, accumulate water. We'll maybe run by there and take a quick look at it. It's really cool looking. And we got this microchip, so let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and cash that in and see what we get. Okay, we got a GPS satellite. We'll use those later. I'm not worried about those right at the moment. Um, all right, so we got the three supers and we need just a titanium. So right now we have um, seven rows. This one's gonna add another column, which will give us seven more slots. Look at that. So we have the same amount of space in our backpack now as we have in uh, a storage chest uh, or a storage locker. So that is a super nice upgrade for us. Okay. Um, I think, oh, you know what else we need to do is we need to set up another nuclear uh, reactor. In fact, we might do a couple because we have enough to make two rods. So let's, um, we need 18 of these. Here, let's just grab them all and make a couple rods so I don't have to count. Then we'll put whatever's left back in here. Okay, and then we're gonna need six more supers. Ah, oh, man, look at that. We have uh, one to spare. And uh, we're gonna need four water in total. All right, let's go put... Uh, Two more power thingies down. Very good. Okay, so that should get us set up pretty good with power. Um, now, I want to... 182. I want to take a couple of extractors with us, or more specifically the materials to make extractors, because we're going to drop one off in the aluminum biome and one in the iridium cave. Let's pin those. We're gonna need a four osmium. We're gonna need two iridium rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna need uh, two supers. All right, so we'll have to we'll have to see if we can nab another super on the way over there to aluminum we can pick up the aluminum in the two places we're going to place these extractors down has aluminum on the ground so we'll pick those up there and titanium should also be very easy for us to get all right since so it's going to be a bit of a longer trip we're going to take some food with us let's um put that in there We'll eat that, and we'll take these two food with us. We're also going to want to take a decent amount of water. Um, at some point, we're not going to be able to pick up ice off the ground anymore because we're heating the planet up. I don't know if we've reached that point yet or not, so let's grab four water just to be on the safe side. And we should also make some O2, but 
Yeah, we're, we're probably going to need to pick up stuff to make shacks when we get further out. Okay. So what are we missing? We're, we're just, we got to pick up two aluminum, two titanium, and we need to find one more super on the way there. Okay, let's do it. Oh, actually, before we leave, let's save. Probably a good idea, eh? All right, here we go. I've grabbed a, the lion's share of the super alloy off these shelves, but I don't think I've grabbed all of it, so we just need to find one more piece for now. Uh, there's one right there. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, there's another one there. And another one there. Most of the stuff I've grabbed has been inside the maze. I haven't actually gone along the outside here, as you can see. And there's actually a cave in the sulfur biome that has super in it and that we can also set an extractor down in when the time comes. So yeah, you can see the water starting to collect. Pretty cool. Let's stop off at our little shack here. Replenish our O2. And I'm going to put the super in there except for the two pieces that we need. And I'll come and grab this at a later date. Okay, so we need an aluminum and a titanium. Here's our titanium. Uh, we're going to need a two in total, so I guess we'll grab a second one. It's kind of... Uh, it's kind of... If... If I'm gonna find aluminum in here because I've oh well never mind. Okay. It's gonna say I've mined it all out. Or not all of it, but a lot of it out. Okay, so let's put this extractor right here. Oh, you know what? I forgot about something. This guy can't get iridium. Wait, can't it? Yeah, I think it can. I think we need to just go in further. Yeah, it can. Okay. But it's also going to get the other stuff, too. But that's all right. Okay, so that'll start getting iridium for us. Now we're going to hop over to the aluminum biome. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you the lake, too. It's, it's looking pretty cool. It's not all the way up yet, but it's on its way. Now, my tentative plan for over here is that we're going to... Um, is there any more ice on the ground? I'm not seeing it. Yeah, so I think we're done with ice, except for there's still a few spots on the map you can get it even later. But it's no longer just around like it was before. But yeah, look at the lake. Pretty cool, huh? It'll it'll get it'll get all the way up to about that high, right to the edge of that little bank there eventually. Love to see the water. Oh, here's another thing I want to show you. Check this out. 
There's now a swimming animation. Look at this. We didn't have this before. Very cool. I love it. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Um, you know what, too? Let's go back into this little secret spot for a second. And I'm going to actually loot this. Oh, that's a lot of good stuff. Okay, let's eat that. Four pulsar quetzals. Even though this isn't a gold chest, it's still, like, got some amazing stuff in it. Um. Yeah, we're going to have to come back. And I don't... I don't think that stuff will change. Well, I don't know that for sure, but I think it always has four pulsar crystals in it, no matter what. I don't know if the other stuff changes, but I kind of think it probably doesn't because it's a special chest. It's not like a normal, normal chest. If that even makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if it does or not. Okay, let's go just get our air topped off and we'll drop a couple of these things off for retrieval later. Um, here, we can do the blueprint right now. Oh, nice. We got the fits. Okay, so that's the thing we can put on our bridge. Eventually, though, that bridge is going to contain just a big long quarter of our, uh, of our base. Wow, we got a lot of supers out of that, too. Okay, let's grab that. Don't need any of this stuff right at the moment. We got some more food. I'm going to need to actually make a chest here. We'll make a big chest. set it right there okay uh, nope we want to take let's take two waters with us well we'll take three because we are gonna have to drink here pretty soon and we don't want to take any of that stuff with us I think everything else we need for the next extractor plus an aluminum which we'll pick up okay I'll go nab the rest of the stuff out of the that special chest later I won't forget that it's there especially when we need to start making fusion generators because that's when we're gonna need that pulsar quartz we just need to find one piece of aluminum there's our shack over here and there's our aluminum Okay, so we are going to put up a mess of extractors in this area. Eventually, we're only putting up one right now, of course. And I guess probably this is a pretty nice wide open spot here. This is even more wide open. So let's set them up over here. This should get aluminum as its primary, uh, but it'll also get the other stuff too. Um, all right, let's grab all of that. We're going to take this shack down and move it over by the extractors. I think we'll put it right up on the hill there. And let's make one of these and we'll start with one of these but we'll probably end up filling this whole thing up with a whole bunch of lockers to store all this stuff all 
All right, so we have our O2, we have our food, we have our waters. Let's go exploring. I'm going to do a game save. All right, so we're heading towards the uh, meteor, I think. Yeah, that if we go that way, that's going to be more towards the waterfall and lava biome. I think it'll be faster for us to go this way because we can scooch through a tunnel to get there, assuming the ice is melted enough. It probably is, but we're going to find out. Let's go for a swim. It's awesome to see all this water. On what was previously a dry and barren planet. I think there might be another blue chest over here. Yes. Just want to see if there's another water in it. And it kind of... No. Why do I have that? Damn it, Jim. Right, let's eat one of the... Oh, we got a couple of ice. Okay, that'll work too. I just, I just feel like we should have a little more water with this because we're going to be on quite a long trip here. And for that matter, we want to take, take stuff to make... Um, yeah, let's take that too. Uh, to make ourselves a, a, a shed. Okay. What else do we need for that? We need three more iron, I think. To make the shed, the door, and the crafting station. I think we already went in there and checked for blueprint chips. We're going to let the the cases in there sit a little bit longer. All right, let's make some water so that way we're really covered, well covered with everything that we need. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, Now, this cave... Okay, good. This cave is... It's opened up on this end. We'll come back for the Osmia... Oh... Yeah, we can't get through. Uh, can we? No, shoot. Can't. Uh, oh, actually. Mm, no, I don't think that's going to let us get through. Oh, man, we almost can, but it's terrain glitched. Son of a beech nut. All right, well, I guess that means we're going to have to go around the long way. Where we need to go is just right on the other side of this mountain here. But I don't think you can get up, glitch up over the... Well, let's try it. Maybe you can. Can you get it? Sometimes you can kind of cheese up the side of these mountains with your jetpack. Ooh, ooh, okay. Um, oh, are we going to be able to do it? Just about get up there. <laughs> it's not, I don't think it's gonna let us do it. It's so close though, man. Damn it, Jim. Uh. All right, can we, can we, can we get up on this next shelf here? It just doesn't let me do it. Just does not want me to get up any further. All right, we're going the long way. We tried. Let's replenish for our O2. And the long way we shall go. I'm 
Sure, let's top off with that. Why not? Now, there is actually a bit of a, a glitch, cheesy shortcut we can take unless they patch that in 1.0. The swimming animation's cool, man. So we'll try it. You know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, let's leave that chest alone. Back over in the spires biome. Now, is this cave open so we can get all the way through? Even if it is, it's still actually not the fastest way to get to our destination. But it has opened up quite a bit. But mm, yeah, we can we can scooch on through there. Okay. Interesting. All right, that gets over into the to the weird biome. Um, one cool thing about that biome, though, is it has osmium zeolite and pulsar quartz and aluminum. But okay, we're gonna go back the way we came, just because I want to see if the um, the little cheesy McSqueezy passage over the mountain still works, or if they patched it. So this passageway, what you do is you come along this way, and you go up here. If you guys watched my season one, then you know exactly what I'm going to do, right? And then you come along this shelf. Now, we're, all, we're already in territory we're not really supposed to be in at this point. So it looks like it might still work. basically just come straight this way and here in a bit some terrain will pop in there it goes and then we just kind of come up this way and now we're over the that biome that I just said had the pulsar quartz and the osmium and all that stuff in it and it's got this weird kind of starry sky look to it but uh, we just keep going along this way. And we might even be able to cheese all the way up here. Yep. Okay, so that out there is the waterfall region. And this is where we lived in Season 1. Uh, we started in this area. And that flat area way over there where my cursor is, is where we built our base and all of our machines and that mountain there will eventually have a waterfall that will come down and out with a lake below it it's very beautiful um, but we're actually not going that direction we're gonna go across the mountains over to there so that's the ship that we were just at there's the, the starter area valley there stuck down in there so oh there's a gold chest right over there too that we can grab while we're here um well you know what actually no i'm not going to grab it we'll grab it some other time and the reason for that is because it's right there i want uh lots of room to bring back the uh, iridium rods that we're going to go after This is a very beautiful place, though, when the water comes in. Just gorgeous. All right. This is the crater, for those of you who maybe have not seen it before. And, uh... 
That looks like that might be a new area over there. Okay, we have stuff to make a shed, right? All right, what we're going to do is... Let's replenish our O2. And then we're going to take our shed down into the crater. So let's go. This is actually one of the places you can start the game, too, if you wanted to. Hey, it's starting to rain. Nice. Um, this little bunker here is a place that you can go down to loot, but I'm going to save that for later. And this is the big meteor that has a whole bunch of iridium and iridium rods that we can grab, like that one there. But we want to take advantage of this while we can, because this is all going to disappear in not too long from now. So you can get a bunch of rods from this thing. You have to kind of look closely though because they're they're uh, camouflaged. Hmm. Not seeing anymore. I'm seeing lots of iridium. There's probably some up. Yeah, there's some up here. Grab that one. That one. Kind of go skimming along the top here and looking for any more rods. I don't know what the total count is on this thing, uh, but there's a lot. Let's grab this iridium up here too, might as well. Okay, I don't see any more rods up here. put this up get some O2 in fact let's leave that there let's eat this to get free up the spot all right let's go back up and look again because I'm not convinced I found all the rods down in here there's one okay I think we got most, if not all, of them. Okay. Yep, I'm going to I'm going to say we got all the rods. All right, so I'm not actually worried about gra grabbing all of the iridium itself uh, because we have plenty of places to get that. And it's just the rods because, you know, each one of those rods is nine pieces of iridium, so it's just worth getting, you know. Okay.
I think what we'll do... Yeah, that looks good. I think we'll get a screenshot. That looks ominous. <laughs> this thing should be like massively irradiated. And we should hear a Geiger counter and we should be slowly losing health. But I guess our spacesuit protects us from all of that. All right. Well, that mission is accomplished. You know what? Why don't we go ahead and go down into this? This is a very small bunker. There's another one way over on the other side of the crater there that's one of the largest underground bunkers, if not the largest in the game, at least up until 1.0 came out anyways. Um, but let's go ahead and check this one out. This gives extra oxygen and water and food. Which if you ever do decide to start in this area, don't forget that's down there because it'll be useful. <sighs> take that. Thing is, if we pick all this stuff up, we're not going to be able to take our hut with us anymore. But we do have four things of oxygen. Yeah, let's take the supers. I think we'll leave the silicon and the iron here. Since we just picked up, you know, all that O2 and water. And I think I'll take the squash seed and that's a 300 and eggplant seed. We'll leave the rest of that there. Okay. We got something to read here. This is from Iklos. We're going to uh, run across a lot of his stuff. I thought I'd found the perfect meteor crater to build my launch platform, but the visibility is atrocious. There's no way I'll be able to send anything from down here. I will try to make another base higher on the crater rim somewhere near coordinates should work hopefully the fog will fade away soon and that's actually um a hint as to where his other base is it's the one i was just talking about on the other side of the crater and it has a lot of stuff in it so we definitely want to wait until um you know later stages before we we go after that that's a nice little pile of loot though uh, all things considered we got a total of 13, it looks like, rods out of the deal. So, yeah, I guess we're going to have to leave this hut here. So we're on our own for the trip home. But we'll be fine. We got lots of O2. Um, let's leave that. Lots of O2, lots of water. Um, and I want to enter the cave over here from this side and see if we can get through out to the, well, it actually has multiple outputs. It's really just, again, a matter of whether or not they've, the ice will let us through or not. Yeah, that, whatever that arch thingy is over there, that's new, but we'll... We'll come back and explore that later. Okay, this is the single largest cave in the game, unless they added something new. And it's also called the Zeolite Cave, because that's what this stuff is. And we can put an extractor in here later and mine it. And we will. Absolutely we will. So this looks like it's open and it comes out to a, what I, I don't know what the actual name of this place is, but I call it the arches biome because there's a bunch of those arches <clears throat> and on the end, at the end of the valley there, uh, there's a big wreck, but one that we'll go after later. Now this takes us and puts us up above what are called the sand falls for, again, those of you who are new. 
this whole area all around here has all this sand falling down and it actually looks a lot cooler from down below than it does from up here and behind the sand falls there's a, a whole bunch of super alloy on the ground and there's a cave that you can go into as well all right let's go back through this cave here we came from that direction we're going to stick to the left this time and uh, see if we can get through down below we'll leave the blue crates for later because that should have some really good stuff in it later on if we let it sit just a bit longer okay so we are, we do have some blockage here but can we get through we can't okay not quite yet all right well then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back out this way again the funny thing about the zeolite cave is that you can't actually pick any up off the ground in here but you can put an extractor in here and mine it so it's a little weird but it's just the way they decide to make the game So that's the way we came. That goes back out to the crater. And this goes out to what I'm calling the Arches Biome. I'm sure that's not what its actual name is. I don't know what it is. Okay. So if we... Yeah, let's drop over the edge of the sand falls here. And yeah, like I said, there's a whole mess of super behind these falls that you can just go along and pick up. There might not be any over this way. And then... Um, bup, 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 bup. Over here is the sulfur biome. And this... Yeah, this is the same cave that we were just in, but it's the other side of that cave. And there's a bunch of osmium and uh, sulfur in here. And that's the blockage there that we couldn't get through. But that will melt soon, and then we will be able to get through. If we go up that way, it would take us out back next to the ship that has our sh Ooh, can we get whoop can we get through Ooh, we can't get through oh nice okay so yeah this comes back out to this biome with this ship and we can actually come in here and replenish our air okay so that's finally been unblocked which is great we just checked this earlier in this episode didn't we so yeah this much ice has melted just since then this is a great place for an osmium extractor. This is a good place for sulfur, which we'll probably be setting down later. And then this comes out back into the iridium cave that we have our extractor down inside of. Way on the other end over there. Alright, let's go back out this way though. I want to see... Um, I want to go over here. There's another opening over here that will take us out to the desert ship. There's a crate. We'll leave that for later. And there's the big desert ship. There's the labyrinth. That's the, what I, I call the wetlands area. It's not wet right now, but it will be in the future. We'll stop off and top off our O2. 
Is there anything in here for me to haul back home? Oh yeah, shit. Goodness gracious. All right, I gotta come grab all that stuff. Uh, we have room to take one thing with us. It doesn't really matter. Let's take a lerma seed. Fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. Okay, so I'm going to use some of these iridium rods that we just nabbed to make some more rockets to launch. Uh, but I also want to make some more tier 3 heaters. Let's actually... There's our base. Let's actually take a look, though, and see how far away we are from the tier 4 heater. I think we're still a ways off from it, but I'm not sure. And it kind of doesn't matter because even if I do make a bunch of tier threes and then we switch to tier four, I'm going to recycle all the tier threes anyways. Hello, base. is our super chest. Put those in there. Put all of this in here. We have enough iridium to make another rod too. And we have enough uranium to make an, our uranium rod. I'm going to have to... Let's eat one of those now. Yeah, we're going to have to make an, a second food chest because this is just about full, which is a nice problem to have. Um, and we'll probably end up filling most of this up too when we bring all those other flower seeds back. Here, let's pick at least one of these to fill this all the way up. I'll deal with that off camera. All right, how are we doing here? So the tier four heater is right here. It unlocks at 63 parts per billion on oxygen. We're at 9.38. So it's a little ways off yet. Once we can get to this flower spreader, though, our oxygen is going to go nutso. But that's a ways off yet. We still have to get through, get to the Tier 2 nuclear first, which isn't too far away. 1.5 million parts per A. Parts of atmosphere. I don't know what the hell that means. Um... That's the T2 algae. That's the beehive. We could and probably should go, you know, build a couple of these and go take and put them down in the lake because they generate oxygen and plants and algae, which we're going to need. Oh, I don't know what I was going to tell you guys. Um, I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bio lab centric base. One of these. We'll leave this one here, of course. Um, over at the starter area and we're going to turn that into a huge algae farm um, and processing facility. I mean, ultimately we will, right? Um, so that's kind of my plan for over there just because it's the best place in the game to, to do an algae farm because of the big lake there. Uh, so that's kind of my, my tentative plan for that and that'll probably be our second you know, significant base that we'll build in this playthrough too, unless something happens and I change my mind for some reason. Oh, let's put that in there. Let's put, no. We'll put two of you in our inventory because we're going to need to drink here fairly soon. All right. So, yeah, I think what we'll do then is... I think we'll just build some more uh, tier three heaters and put it in our heater shack over there with some of these rods. Let's uh, pin that. If I remember right, I thought I said we could build seven more of those. Um, That's going to use a lot of power, though. Let's do another four for now. 
Um, so let's see, we need four silicon. Four titanium. Four aluminum. These guys use 21 thingy-madoodles of power. If we do four, it's going to be about 84. Yeah, okay. And then we'll still have a little bit of power left over. Let's go do it. Get that heat going so we can get all, all that ice melted in those caves. We've made good progress, though. Just needed to push it, push it a little more. Hey, we got some standing water down here. Nice. Uh, what do we need water? Not very deep, but hey, it's water, right? Very cool. I wonder if there's uh, water starting to form in the in the gorge over here. We'll take a look. All right, let's build. You guys there. We'll put you there. Oh, I didn't grab enough stuff, so we need another titanium and another aluminum. All right, is there water down here? No, not yet. Okay. I'm sure it's working on it, though. wonder what the chances are of us finding one more aluminum in this cave. I mean, I've pretty much scoured through it, but that doesn't mean I caught every possible piece. Yeah, there is a little bit of water forming down there. Okay. That's cool. We'll enter from the back end of the cave over here. What did you have in there? Yeah, let's grab all of this. There's some water over there, too. I love it. All right, we need one. Oh, there we go. All right, fantastic. There's always another piece somewhere, you know. There's still a lot of ice in this cave, too. Oh, this opened up. Okay, this is a new area. There's a bunch of crates in here. And a whole lot more aluminum. Wait, what? Are we underwater here? <laughs> How does that work? We're underwater. <laughs> okay. If you say so, game. Yeah, there's a whole mess more of aluminum down here. Awesome. Okay. Is that... Okay, that's ice. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll just loot these crates now. I have a feeling like this whole cave might be underwater by the time it's all said and done. Wait a minute, is this, uh, okay. Yeah, so this is the new area here. Get a little turned around here. Didn't we see a third crate back here somewhere? That's so funny, we swim through the water. Maybe we didn't see a third crate. I thought we did, but maybe not. But lots more aluminum, so that's good. Uh, we have 102 bottle, ooh. Look at that. We can't go any further that direction, though. Oh, shit. We're cutting it close. We got... <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I 
I shouldn't do that, man, because if you go too long, you lose all your inventory, even if you do manage to get air. That was a bit risky and probably not the smartest thing I've done. But uh, we made it happen, so don't do that again. That is not allowed. All right, so we have room for one, two, three, four, five more heaters in here, or six if we actually removed that. We could maybe cheesy McSqueezy something else in here, but yeah, I don't know. We don't need to overdo it either. But that's a nice, significant addition to our heat. All right, I'm going to go back in here and load up on aluminum. And then head back to the base, put this stuff away. But I'm also going to let you guys go because we are out of time in this episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.